Everybody, it's Jonathan. Send your smoke for the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. And we are one week away, one week away from Thanksgiving 2023. And this upcoming weekend is so critical. This is what I call prep, bird prep weekend. All right, this is when you need to have, for all of you who perhaps were uh, in the Boy Scouts or whatever, remember the motto, be prepared. This is the weekend to prepare. You need to get your seasonings, your rubs, your other materials, equipment, everything together to rock. For example, if you're gonna do this on a charcoal grill, come over and buy yourself some JD Jealous Devil, my favorite charcoal. Or if you're cooking on pellet, wanna get yourself, this is in limited quantities, the Traeger turkey pellets with the brine kit in there. Perhaps you need a brine kit, you need a brine bucket, you need some other types of tools. This is the time to do it. Have it all done, folks, by the end of this weekend. You do not want to be running around to different hardware stores or to ROF at 5.30 on Wednesday evening when everybody's closed and you have the bird cook staring at you in the face. Be prepared. Now, the other little nugget of advice I'm going to give you all, and again, this does not, it doesn't matter what type of grill you are going to use on Thursday. You must use a clean grill, and that's why this weekend is the time to clean it. If you're using a gas grill, you want to make sure that not only your grates and your burn box are clean, you want to get down into what I call the chamber of filth, that drip tray. Get it? There's a lot of nastiness down there. Clean it out, because that could lead to a lot of problems, aside from vermin, etc., getting drawn to the grill at night. It's also going to lead to some nasty flare-ups. Get that thing cleaned out, right? Grates, burn box, chamber of filth. Get it done. I got another video talking about that. Um, my pellet customers, pellet grill people, listen, you, you, you have the most to lose because let's face it, if that pellet grill is not clean and you get an issue with the auger feeding the pellets into the, um, into the burn box, the burn chamber, your cook is going to stall. It's going to be a disaster, right? So you got to vacuum out. That, um, the inside of the grill, I don't care which one you're using, a Memphis, a Traeger, Coyote, whatever else, clean it out, vacuum it, scrape it down, do a burn, whatever you have to do, get the thing clean. Because let's face it, our pellet grills have the most parts moving and are the most susceptible to having problems in the midst of a cook. For my charcoal customers, whether you're rocking a Weber, um, kettle or you're on a Kamado or an egg, once again, clean it out, do a burnt, vacuum out any excess ashes you may have from a prior cook. You may, if you haven't used it in a while with all the rainy weather, you may have some mold building up in there. Do a half hour, no longer burn to, to, get, to get that all cleared out, okay? And you don't wanna go for more than a half an hour, 45 minutes at 700 degrees because you'll melt the gasket around the lip no matter what grill that you're on. Um, maybe not so much a problem with the new Kamado Joes, but get your grill cleaned. A clean grill is a better grill, and a better grill will lead to a better cook. And everybody will have smiles when you're serving up that delicious bird. Folks, we are open on Friday, Saturday, close Sunday. We're gonna be open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Wednesday probably closing a little early, maybe three-ish. We are stocked up on pellets, charcoal, rubs, whatever you need. Folks, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family.